Alright there, roguelike fans. We are heading back to the 2012 seven day roguelike challenge. Uh, just for one or two before we dive into that other commercial roguelike I mentioned. Uh, before we do any of that, um, I want to preface this with a uh, statement because I'm self conscious. <laughs> if you hear me, um, if my voice sounds in any way weird, my, my wife assures me it does not. But if it does, I had many adventures in dentistry this week. Um, went in for a uh, root canal, and then halfway through the procedure, they told me the tooth is cracked and they couldn't save it, so the next day I had to go in and get it ripped out of my head. That was two days ago, so I've got a, a hole on the starboard side of my upper jaw right now in terms of a missing tooth, and it sounds weird to me, but I'm not hearing it so much right now. So if you don't notice anything, pretend I didn't say anything. All right, um, today we are looking at a game called The Adventurer's Guild by Nolithius um, from the 2012 Seven Day Roguelike Challenge. I could have sworn we saw one of Nolithius's games before. Um, the name is really familiar to me, but I'm not... I went through my roguelike list of you know looks, games we looked at on this channel, and I, I don't see the name written anywhere with a, with a quick, you know, Control-F search. So perhaps not. Um... I will include, I'm saying this in advance because this is a weird circumstance, I'll include a link to where you, you can maybe play the game. The game was sort of like a Flash online game where you can you can theoretically go play it still, it's still up there. That said, my computer wouldn't run it, so I actually contacted Nolithius directly and he was kind enough to dig out this old executable and send it my way. So when you're seeing something about here, click once on Flash area to begin reading keystrokes. Um, we're not playing it Flash, we're playing an executable. Um, and I can't send you a link to that because I just got a private copy. I'll try and get it over to um, to the archive RL to make sure they have a copy to, to keep it in the background. But um, yeah, I can't give you a link to that. All right, let's fire up this game. Um, there's no instruction manual. You can see right up here, kill monsters to loot gold to pay your adventurers' salaries every day at midnight. Arrows or numpad to move, greater than to descend, numpad 5 or spacebar weights. 1 to 4 selects character. Click once on flash area to begin. Well, blah, 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 blah. How deep can you go? So it doesn't look like there's a victory condition. It looks like we're, we're going until we cannot pay our people's salary. And you can see we have four different characters at the bottom here. Oslo. Uh, these awesome ASCII, uh, or ANSI, I guess, ANSI representations of, of their, their faces. I, I think those are their faces, unless he's a, unless he's a tower. And this is like a, a path in the woods, and this is an, a, a very, very disturbing ice rink where terrible things happen, and this is like the bottom of a pit trap after somebody fell in. That's their little axe. Um, I don't know. That's my... That's my. I'm not pointing anything you can see, but... Uh, there, I'm trying to point for you. I guess I can't. Our mice are not aligned. All right, let's dive in. So Oslo, it looks like, costs us $25 a day. Rain 50, Cone 99... And Remy 75. I don't know if they have any abilities. I'm assuming the red is their health. The blue is their... Fuck, I don't know. Let's try pressing question mark. It doesn't do anything for us. Clicked once in the flash area, allegedly. Okay, let's, let's try moving around. Here we see a C. I don't think we can look or anything, can we? No. Let's just go kill that C. As you can see, the entire party is following along. I'm sure they're color-coded. We can tell who's who in that regard. There. Oslo hits a giant cockroach. A giant cockroach dies. We looted ten bucks, guys. Ten bucks. We can pay everyone's salary. Uh, where's the, You can see the time down there in the bottom right corner of the screen. 2.52 a.m. So we have a, a full day to gather more money, but it looks like it's clocking up uh, seven minutes every fucking click. So that's not a lot of time. What is this? Oh, it's a door. We gotta find some monsters quick, guys. There's a C. There's another ten bucks for a cockroach. Using a number pad to move. Oh, did we lose somebody already? No, Mr. Green Rain is just like staying back there for some reason. Her pathfinding is. Look at her. Look at her going. She's dancing. She's having a little private dance party up there. Go Rain. It's your birthday. Maybe we'll go right down, only because I'm assuming the monsters will be worth more as we go down. And we've made 20 bucks, and it's been more than half a day. So we're going to lose everybody if we don't get some more money fast. I'm pretty sure money comes only from killing monsters. Maybe it's like bounties on their heads? Maybe we've been, you know, we got another cockroach. Maybe we've been, um, you know, tasked to kill monsters in the Underearth, a la, you know, Pool of Radiance or something. Got 20 bucks from a rat. 
So far, the health th thing isn't an issue. It's more we're going to run out of money in two hours. In two hours, we're going to be down to just Oslo, I think. Why do you go this way? This is a mistake. This is a mistake, guys. Oh, yeah, we're down to Oslo. Unpaid. I'm pretty sure, I don't know this for certain, you can see at the top, you cannot afford to pay 50 to pay rain for day two. You cannot afford 99 to pay cone. I don't know how to switch people either. I don't know. Well, Oslo can do it. For 25 bucks, he can do it. I'm pretty sure if we get the money, um, those guys will come back. Like, they've gone home to, like, eat cereal and watch cartoons and wait for a paycheck. And as soon as uh, we have the paycheck, we send it, and they're like, oh, yeah, we'll come down to level you know, 16 or wherever you're at. Is that all there is on this level? Because, Christ, we're going to lose this guy, too. Whoa, we're not doing so hot here, guys. Not a bad little level generator. I like the round rooms. Uh, we're going to freaking die, though. It's almost the next day. Uh, let's go down those stairs right there. Oh, dear Lord. Oslo, kill that cockroach. We Okay, we Oslo's paid for day three. Oslo, man, you got to do better than this. All right, we got Oslo covered. As long as we don't die, we got him covered. The nice go fucking down. Seems like the best way to get this, uh, keep this money flowing. Got two of them coming at me. Let's go down. Might have enough to get rain back now. We'll find out in four hours. No, in 16 hours. What is that? Is that lice or a leprechaun? It's green. It's probably a leprechaun. It was a cave lizard. 40 bucks. Now we got enough. Also, it's doing just fine so far. I don't know what, again, I don't know what the blue is. I don't know if there's a way to cast spells or something. When we get somebody back who has, like, also here, it looks like he's just a fighter or, or, or a nothing. Um, when we get someone back who has a blue bar, we'll try, like, pressing M for magic, or C for cast, or... somewhat like that. What is the B again? We just killed one. Bat. Bat equals 30 bucks. Spider, maybe? Snake. Comes a rat. Not seeing a staircase down anymore. Yeah, I think we need a, a chunk of people back now. Now we're making money. Reminds me of that conceptually. Reminds me. Oh, there they are. We got them all back. We don't have to pay everybody. Let's try like M. Let's try H for healing. This character cannot cast the. Oh, H is a spell. So if we find out how to. Oh, maybe press two. Let's say for example. Let's say we go to her and we try healing. H. No. Let's try three for cone. Does it cost us time when we switch characters? H. Cone heals all who surround him. Okay. So that's how we do that. H is a healing spell, guys. And now and now that dude's leading. Let's stick with Oslo, though, as our leader. His bump to attack seems to be doing the, doing the job for now. Where are these stairs, man? So you press the number of the character you want to switch to. That's kind of cool. And again, if you can get Flash to run on your computer, I can provide a link to where you can play this online, I think. I just Flash just doesn't work for me. I don't know if it works for anybody anymore. I have no idea. We might keep everyone. So we try, like... Let's try M. When we tried M for Magic Missile. Like, what, what else do you think there is? H is healing. D. Like, without a... I'm just going to really quickly check to see if there is a, a readme that I missed. There's a file called mime type. There's different versions in a versions folder and resources. But no, no, um, there's a SWF file, but I don't even know what that means. So not, not anything we need. Um... Well, we got enough here to keep us going for a minute. Let's get these lizards 
We'll go down in a second. We're doing okay in terms of uh, staying alive for the moment. I guess the objective is how deep can you go, in which case you should dive as soon as you can, I guess. Let's go do that now. Yes, we got some money there, but look at the minutes are ticking by as we get back to the stairs. So we figured out the healing spell. What else do you think there is? There must be like a, an offensive spell. What do you think Remy is? Like, is he, he looks he looks pretty mean. <laughs> Everyone has blue, except for... Um, that looks like the blue came back on Cone, too. Except for... Oslo, here. If Oslo takes much more damage, we'll try the healing spell again. Everybody got paid. Go right down. Down to level eight. Oh, I started a sentence before, and I don't think I finished it. It reminded me conceptually of um, that old board game dungeon, where you you know the deeper you went, the more treasure you could find, and the objective was to collect gold um, to try and uh, well to be the first to collect. I mean, it's not quite the same. Obviously, you're com you're competing against the other players back then to collect as much gold as you could. Whereas these four are cooperating. They have a little capitalist co op. Uh, looks like everybody got paid again. We wrapped around. I don't think we found the stairs yet. Looks like going down as fast as you can seems to be like a winning. A relatively winning strategy. You got the snake. Let's try um, switching back to cone with three and pressing H. Everybody got healed, allegedly. Uh, number one still has some problems, doesn't he? Why is he brown? Was he in yellow before? Maybe he's brown. Let's try H again. That's working. All right, everybody's healed up. Let's go back to Oslo. Oh, we got a new monster. Goblin for 60 bucks. I don't know if they're all jumping on the bandwagon and pummeling it as well, or if it's purely that Oslo's killing them with one hit. Come here, Red. Hard to say. We don't see a lot of um, roguelikes with multiple party members. We've seen, we've seen at least one at some point that had a ranger and a mage and shit. You were like three three characters or something like that cooperating, but I can't remember what it was. Seems to me it had something to do with a jail, maybe a prison, but I don't really recall. Right down. That's where counting is our score, right? Level ten. I think it's a hobgoblin. Oh, Cone is dead. Looks like a goblin got him. I don't think any amount of cash is going to bring him back, and I don't know how to use the other people. <laughs> does Does Remy have a healing spell? Cobalt, maybe. Kobold dies. Be nice if there's a maximum depth and you can win by getting there. I just like games with a victory condition, as I've said many times. Hobgoblin dies. I'm diving, guys. I'm a diving fiend. Hobgoblin dies. Back to full. Maybe you get back to full when you go down. I'm not sure. Or if, you, or maybe they heal back over time. I'm not sure. They're dying pretty easy. Oslo's killing them with one punch. I'm not sure what benefit these other characters bring to the table aside from that they can maybe sometimes heal. Want to see if Remy can heal? Let's go to four. H. This character cannot cast healing spells. We can't do it anymore. Maybe we get it back. Take a look at Remy's health as we walk along here. See if it comes back on its own. I, I'm not sure. I'll try to remember to check before you go down a level. If not, we'll check as soon as you get down a level. Maybe it'll uh, reappear then. Well, it's a long fucking trek back. That ain't good. I don't think there's like a period... Uh, no. To auto-walk. Um... Orc, maybe? An orc does. I think the hobgoblins are worth more. Let's go down. 
So Remy has not gotten his health back, and as soon as you go down a level, it does. So you, you feel, oh shit, heal back to full as soon as you go down a level. I don't know if Oslo is protecting everyone or if the others can fight or not on their own. I don't know. And we only know the one healing. We only know the one spell. It must be other spells. Let's just try trusting some other buttons. S A D F G H. Yeah, we know that one. I'm afraid of pressing a button that drops it out. Okay, this character cannot throw javelins. Apparently one of them can. One of them can throw javelins, guys. We'll figure out who in a minute. We know who could do this healing spell. At least we lost the guy that we we didn't know about. There's still one ability out there, right? I don't want to press Q. Okay. So one of them has a whirlwind attack, and it's not Oslo. So probably Rami has a whirlwind attack, and Rain is javelins, is my guess. When we, when we see something else, we'll uh, let's switch. Let's switch to... Rain with two. And let's press J. Throw javelin which direction? To the west. Yeah. Nice job, Rain. And still use some of her um stamina or magic or whatever that is. J West. Saves us a bit of time, actually. I don't have to walk that extra distance to get them. J South. I wonder if you get all this shit back as soon as you go down a level. She's gonna run out soon. J Southwest. Fucking right. She's kicking ass. Let's go down. How I drive she from. Th th well, I can't control my mouse. From this graphic. <laughs> I don't know. That looks like a she to me, doesn't it? Like some punk. I don't mean punk isn't like a bad word. I mean like some, some classically punkish person. No, you don't get your stuff back as soon as you go down. Um, let's go north. Let's switch to Remy. Shit. Oh, Remy. Who, who am I controlling? I think I'm looking at the wrong guy, guys. Damn it. Let's do whirlwind attack. All right. I think I, might, I may have killed Rain, maybe. Probably not. You can't make them stop following you, so maybe not. Let's go over to Oslo. Oslo's your straightforward punch him in the face kind of guy. Well, it's kind of a neat game. I like the uh, I like the different abilities for the different characters. Uh, uh, with again lacking, uh, maybe it tells you that on, on the online version. I don't know. That's kind of neat. And obviously Oslo has no special attacks because he just has no uh, status bar, right? We better find those stairs and go down because we're all about to die. I was trying when I was trying to maneuver Remy, and I, I think I was looking at the brown guy, so I. Uh, I maneuvered poorly and got rain killed. Right, let's go down. Oh, they get health back, but they don't get all their health back. That's a bummer. I can make it so far without the heal. Oh, Remy's Remy's all alone. What is that? I assume it's a monster, but what if it's like a collectible? No, it's a monster. Ogre Mage. Still kill it with one bump. So far, everything's died with a single hit. Let's go down. It's our only metric for scoring here. Get some health back while we're at it. We have, the, we have the money, too. Does the money go down when we pay our people? I guess so. Find out in a minute. We're at 2138. We're nowhere near the time limit, though. Brings me back to um, you know, so many times I've mentioned this with with games. The old, it's just I love the fact that these these games are all stand, they're all roguelikes. It's all you're in a dungeon, you walk around, you kill monsters, bump to attack, blah blah blah. But they each put their own little twist on it, you know. 
and I, it reminds me of you know again the old days of arcade games and like Capcom and Tato were like the the kings of the arcade and you know you make a game and maybe it's more or less Pac-Man or more or less Space Invaders but there's some twist on it that makes it unique. Oh, I didn't notice if his money went down at midnight. I was trying to keep track and look at it at midnight, see if it went down when he paid his uh, salary. One of the most expensive guys left. Oh! A bat hit us, and we're dead. There you go, guys. We made it to day 11. Maybe that's a score, or maybe we made it to what level? Level 16? In the Dungeons of Glory. Uh, day 11, uh, level 16, we had $3,063. I think we had more than that at one point. Maybe not. I don't know. So I think it, it subtracts the money. So score can't really be that. I think it's more about level. Or, or days survived would make sense. Be a good uh, metric for for your score. So that's it. That's um, the Adventurer's Guild by Nolithius. Um, there may have been a little bit of backstory with it on the, on the actual website. Let me just see if I can find that. Um, Adventurer's Guild. Traditional ASCII roguelike built for the 2012 7 Day Roguelike Challenge, also playable in your browser, except for only playable in your browser, unless you have what I have here. Um, he experimented with two different elements, uh, controlling a party of mercenary heroes and managing their pay. He was inspired by beautiful ASCII art and roguelike concepts to also put together some character portraits for your heroes. That was kind of cool. I liked that aspect. Um, and aside from going through the... Uh, the details of you know his bug fixes and that I'm not not sure there's much else to tell you I think we I think we saw everything he had to offer and there may there may be a story of some sort but I, so I can't uh, I can't discern where to find that given the title I guess there's an adventurers guild at work as part of it anyways that's uh, that's it guys that was um, that was the adventurers guild I'll be back when I'm back guys um, in addition to dealing with uh, you know impromptu surgeries um, which went horrifically by the way not a slight on the dentist, but because my tooth had been hollowed out in preparation for the uh, for the root canal, and and then they discovered it cracked. Because it was cracked and hollow, uh, it came out in pieces. So when she prefaced it, she said it'll take about 25 minutes to extract the tooth. I don't like I don't like dental surgery, so I was like, oh, yeah, 25 minutes, I can bear with that. Ended up taking an hour and a half. Her knuckle deep with pliers and and various pointed objects in my mouth. Um, not, not a pleasant experience. She didn't do a bad job. I don't mean to impugn her in any way. Just the way it turned out. Anyways, um, in going forward, dealing with more of this, because I do have to go in at some point and get a bone graft, apparently using cadaver bone, which I'm really excited to have stuck in my face for all eternity. Um, it doesn't make me feel at all old to know I have cadaver bone in my face. But um, uh, on top of that, um, they've got a crazy-ass work schedule for the next couple of weeks, so I will be playing more as soon as I can. That may be as early as tomorrow, or it may be as late as a week or two. I don't know. It'll be as soon as it can be, though. Thanks for watching, as usual, guys. Um, and wherever you are, I hope you have a, a lovely, lovely day that involves in no way having your teeth removed from your head. Bye.